Hello, my name is Bernard, and for my final project in underactuated robotics, I chose to do collision free mixed integer planning for quadrotors using convex safe regions. This work is based mostly on two papers one by Professor T. Drake teaching this class, and another by Melinger and Kumar from 2011. The goal of this project has been to utilize the differential flatness property of the quadrotor system to generate collision-free polynomial trajectories in the flat output space X, Y, and Z. Then, these polynomial trajectories are to be translated to the full state space, and finally, the full state trajectory will be stabilized using time-varying LQR. The entire quadrotor model can be given as follows. First, we have the angular dynamics, and then we have the positional dynamics. The state describing the entire system, including all of the state variables and the inputs, is 16-dimensional. The output space in which the quadrotor is differentially flat is 4-dimensional. Using the differential flatness property of the quadrotor, we will be able to convert this 4-dimensional trajectory into a full 16-dimensional state trajectory. The approach to generating collision-free trajectories can be split up into three steps. First, the entire space is divided into smaller convex regions which are guaranteed to be obstacle-free. Second, mixed integer optimization is used to assign each polynomial segment to a region using binary decision variables. And third, sums of squares constraints are used to ensure that the entire trajectory is collision-free. To make the optimization problem feasible, it is solved in two steps. First, a slightly relaxed version of the problem is solved to get the assignments of the binary decision variables. Then the full problem is resolved using the previously computed values of the binary decision variables. For the first flight test, a simple obstacle environment is constructed. Here it can be seen how the safe convex regions are generated from the obstacle environment. Here the resulting collision-free trajectory is plotted, together with the quadrotor following the trajectory using the time-varying LQR controller. As can be seen from the videos, the quadrotor is fully able to follow the calculated trajectories without crashing into any of the obstacles. For the second flight test, an obstacle environment requiring more advanced maneuvers is considered. Here the quadrotor can be seen following the trajectory calculated by the planner. Also in this case, it is clear that the quadrotor is able to follow the trajectory and that no collisions occur. For the last and final flight test, I'm going to compare different numbers of convex regions to see how this affects the generated trajectories. First, the planner is allowed to compute 8 convex regions. This results in the following trajectory where the quadrotor can be seen flying on the outside of the last obstacle. Next, the planner is allowed to compute one more convex region. Take note that this region is added to a space which was previously not filled. Here, the resulting trajectory can be seen. It is clear that the quadrotor now chooses to go on the inside of the last obstacle, as this is actually more efficient. In the future, I would like to look into different choices of where to generate the convex safe regions. This could be done, for example, by using waypoints from algorithms like RRT star. I would like to look more into this, as the algorithm is currently very sensitive to the exact placement of the obstacles compared to the number of convex regions. I would also like to look into how time scaling the trajectories affects the actuator efforts required and how this might affect actuator limits. Thank you for watching.